Hey pros, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA. So today is actually Christmas morning at 6.46 a.m. Um, I filmed a video the other day doing my hair um, and that was about two days ago actually. Um, I tried to get away with the fact that I know I needed a relaxer on the sides and the back of my head and I thought that my hair would survive, but it did not. So I said, why not a perfect opportunity to do my hair at home and also to use a box relaxer and do my sides and back. Now, of course you guys know, I'm one of those people, I highly recommend going to a professional to get your chemical services done. But in light of my little situation, I am a professional. I'm going to use this box relaxer to relax the sides and back of my head all at the same time we will talk about the proper way to do this at home because i know some of you don't actually even have a way to get to a stylist to get your hair done and i don't want you to you guys to just go in the dark thinking that oh wow well, she's not gonna teach us anything because you know she tells us not to do it at home well some of you don't have that choice some of you are homebound some of you have no stylist in your area whatever the case may be so we are going to do this together and I'm going to give you guys the deets and pro tips whenever you are doing your relaxing at home. Also, I got this and this dryer at Walmart, which is a bonnet dryer that has an actual base. So I don't have to connect my blow dryer. We're going to see how this baby works, if it works really well on my hair or not, and would I recommend it? And then lastly, I am testing out another prototype of my potential new flat irons. So you guys stay tuned, let's go. So to start off, I did cover up the box, you guys, because your girl is not in the habit of promoting other companies any longer. We are our own brand, which is something that you guys hear me talk about all the time when we are talking about business. And just a reminder, we did relaunch our wholesaling and private labeling and bulk product company, which is going by the name of Pro Beauty Wholesale. So you guys look out for that. In the meantime, I went ahead and took out all of the items out of the relaxer box. Now, we're going to get into the habit of stop saying the word perm because we don't do perms, you guys. We do relaxers, okay? That's what we do, relaxers. So, I am using the basic utensils, things that I know you guys would not have uh, or you would have at home. And we are going to go ahead and get our relaxer mixed up. Now, of course, my choice is always going to be the professional relaxer going to your salon getting it from a professional stylist because this can really be problematic if done the wrong way the good thing is i'm only doing the short parts of my head which is something that um really is not something you could really mess up except for burning it out 100 percent uh, which is something that we don't want to do but in this case i'm going to be using this on my sides and my back which is cut every two three four five weeks so this is the reason why I said I could just do this at home and use this as the perfect opportunity to talk to you guys about home hair care. And also for those of you who do your relaxers at home, just give you some tips and tricks that can keep you in the realm of healthy, healthy hair. All right. So one thing that I'm definitely going to tell you is for those of you who do your relaxers at home, please ensure that once you mix that relaxer, you use it right away. Relaxers are just like hair color, they oxidize. So when you mix part one with part two or part A with part B, the actual relaxing action, the power in the relaxer starts at that very moment. It doesn't start five minutes down the road, it doesn't start tomorrow, it starts right away. And for those of you that like to save relaxer and put it in your refrigerator and use it five months later, let's stop doing that as well. Relaxers are way too cheap for you to be doing that, number one. And number two, that is definitely unsafe because you don't know how long the actives in that relaxer can last. That is also the easiest way to have breakage, damage, hair, shedding, over-processing. There's so many things that can happen from you leaving a relaxer for too long. Now, I did not have a brush, and I wanted to show you guys what happens when you use this little stick, this little popsicle stick thing that's inside the box, because I know some of you are using this as your application um, or applicator. Number one, this little stick is way too small for you to be able to process your entire head very quickly, meaning being able to apply that relaxer as fast as you should. Absolutely not. 
Do not use that popsicle stick. That is for stirring and stirring only. If by chance you need to have more time to take care of your relaxer or you don't have a um, applicator brush, use a rat tail comb. But what you're going to do is apply it with the tip of the comb, not the teeth of the comb. Okay. I am also one of those people where I like to apply my relaxer with my hand because I can cover way more ground a lot faster. And a lot of you who are doing your relaxers at home, you don't have the speed down pack. So you are really just taking your absolute sweetest time and relaxers need to be applied at least five minutes or less, you guys, especially for small areas like this that process really, really fast. So I did stop using my comb after I stopped filming. And I used my hands, you guys, to apply my relaxer really quickly, still in the same places that I wanted it from the beginning. Now, once my um, relaxer was applied, I did go through and use my comb to smooth the relaxer. Now, here is also where it can become problematic. I'm using my comb to smooth my relaxer, but I am not allowing the teeth to touch my scalp. So I'm really allowing the comb to pick the hair up and drag it through. And by saying that, I mean, I'm not putting any form of aggravation or applying any form of um, aggravation to my scalp area. And then I follow up with my fingers just to smooth the hair down. So I'm using my comb to pick up the hair, but not to comb my hair. Okay. And when I, I'm trying to say it in lower, the layman terms, the least, the least, um, the least, <laughs> the most understandable terms that I can for you to say or know not to allow the comb teeth to touch your scalp. This is how you get under processing because you will burn really, really quickly because you just aggravated your scalp. Okay, so keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Okay. So just a few pro tips before I did go ahead and shampoo and condition my hair using the shampoo and conditioner that came with the relaxer. Keep in mind that those packages are nice and small, but I do recommend doing a minimum of at least two to three neutralizing um, processes, and then you condition once. The reason why I say two to three neutralizing processes is because you are more than likely shampooing your hair in your sink with your head down, and you can easily miss a lot of spots with that, and you want to just make sure that you don't run the risk of not normalizing or neutralizing your hair the proper way, because you won't have shedding today, you won't have shedding tomorrow, you will have shedding weeks from now months from now and sometimes even days from now so just keep that in mind you guys that neutralizing is super important and i do not recommend using other companies neutralizers i recommend using the one that comes with the actual kit because it is made based on that manufacturer specifications now i molded my hair using our elite silk wrap foam i do keep my wrap foam at home you guys if you guys notice the girl's hair is nice and smooth and sleek and then I'm using some wrap strips to kind of hold it down. Now, I have a humongous head. And, of course, this just became problematic really quickly. But I just allowed it to just, you know, remind myself that, Crystal, your head is big. That's just what God gave you. I used to actually be very insecure about this. People love to try to home in on your insecurities. And now I could give a damn. Right. All right, so I am using this Andis um, bonnet dryer that I found at Walmart um, because I was looking for a hood dryer and I did not find one. Typically, I had my hood dryers at home from the salon, but now that I'm in a space by myself, all of my dryers are being utilized at the salon, so I don't have any at home. So I bought this one because this one is actually one that you guys would be using anyway, and I wanted to see how well it worked. So it came nice and compact. It was like kind of like the size of like a laptop bag. Um, 
in its entirety. I, I don't think that this would take up very much space. Um, it's very easy to um, hide or tuck away. It was nice and sleek. Um, I actually really did like the makeup of this particular dryer. Now, I struggled trying to figure out how to open this thing. I thought that this was the front where the handle was. And I'm sitting here like, okay, so how do we open this? So um, explain to me how I open this. And something said, well, Crystal, look on the other side of the dryer. Maybe you're looking at the wrong side. I literally sat here like, okay, so you guys don't tell people how to open it. And then I had an aha moment. And I said, well, if the logo is facing that way, that probably means that you open it that way. Right. So I went ahead and I did so. I, I opened it on the right side. And it was really easy to put together. Now, in no way, shape, or form am I being paid to give you guys this information. But this is something that we don't carry right now, you guys. And I know you guys are always asking me for a hood dryer or hooded dryer. Where can you get one? I got this at Walmart. It was twin, no, $31. Um, and I like the fact that it was nice and sleek. My biggest concern was that it was going to be like the blow dryer type where those things literally burn. So I wanted to try it out first before I would share the news with you guys. Um, and by the way, no, this dryer is not like the blow dryer kind. It actually has moderate heat. It didn't burn me at all. I had it on high. It actually felt just like a dryer at the salon. It was just the only complaint that I had was on the front side of the head. The air, the, the bonnet has holes in it to allow the heat to escape. And it did um, take a longer time for my front to dry. So I ended up having to move the cap around. Um, that was really my only complaint about this dryer. I didn't perspire with this dryer because there was holes in the bonnet. I actually think this dryer is actually really nice. So definitely this is something that I would say you guys could use at home. Um, and also keep in mind that, that 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 hose needs to be in the back of the head because I tried to put it on the side and it just kept pulling it down on my face. And it just did not do me any justice. And then I finally turned it to the back and was like, okay, well, I guess I have no choice. And it worked. So while we are figuring out the dryer dilemma, I did want to let you guys know that we are having our after Christmas sale where everything is 30% off. But we do also have our everything must go sale where we are letting go three of our products um, for $9. Those three products is our hair repair conditioner, which a lot of you are skipping out on getting the right conditioners for the things that you guys are dealing with, like hair repair and restoration. Um, we also have our Hydra Strength Leave-In Spray. That is also $9. And then we have our Definitely Curl Defining Gel, which is a hydrating curl defining gel infused with snail mucin. That is also going for $9 between now and New Year's. So you guys go to EliteHairCareUSA.com, check us out and grab some products. And then, of course, once my hair was dry, um, I did put the dryer back to I took it apart, put it away, and it was so compact. I actually really like the dryer. OK, so you guys definitely can use this dryer um, until we one day get our own. And of course, our own is going to be just as bad, if not better. OK, OK, good. All right. So from there, um, I did start using um, an iron, which is a prototype of an iron that I am thinking about releasing. Um, this is just the prototype. I really liked the prototype because I did want a digital thermostat. Now, they surprised me by sending me a thermostat that actually shows you as it's heating and it heats up within seconds. My only issue with these prototypes is that I did not like the material from the plates and I don't like dome plates. So I am definitely going to go back to the drawing board with this one. We're going to really fix this one up and I, more than likely I'm going to probably change the color of it too. I don't like that color. But like I said, these were prototypes, you guys. So it's not something that's happening today or tomorrow. This is something that I'm working on as a project. This is something that takes a lot of time. So that's what I'm doing right now. Like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some frizz tamer on my hair this is a product we no longer carry we now have gone into frizz control with some new technology but i'm just using whatever i have at home to to take care of my hair you know what i mean um so this is the prototype to my new flat iron this actually goes up to 500 degrees 500 degrees you guys so um, I'm going to turn it to 500 and I want you guys to kind of see how it climbs. 
Y'all see it climbing? It's climbing. All right. So that is that. I got to turn down this light. Hold on, you guys. It's the light that's making it difficult. Okay. So this one is off, if you guys can tell. So I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to bring it to 450 and you guys can watch how it climbs. Look at that. It climbs the temperatures. Y'all see that? It's climbing. It's climbing. So you're watching it digitally. <laughs> so I'm going to actually turn it down to 400 though. This one is right now at 500. I do not need 500. I'm going to turn it down to 400. <laughs> Sorry, you guys, my allergies are acting up, so it's not really the most ideal, but yeah. Okay, so this is a dome iron. Um, some of you have seen dome iron, some of you have not, but I am curling my hair with the prototype to see how I like it. I put it back to 450 because I normally curl my hair with 450, so. I don't have any spritz here. I do have my pump it up though. That I do have, so. Okay, I'm actually gonna turn this light up because I cannot actually see. Here comes my trusty partner in crime, Wild One. Yes, son. You gotta have, is the game zero dollars? It's six dollars and ninety nine cents. Okay, so it's gonna ask you how you wanna pay, you say gift card. Okay. And then it should have gift card on there. There's already some things that I see about this one that I don't like. <laughs> so definitely we're going back to the drawing board with this one. We are definitely going back to the drawing board with this iron. It's like cool for like basic stuff, but I'm not a huge fan of it. Okay, so unfortunately, um, my phone had died in the middle of me curling my hair because I was also curling my hair on live for you guys. So that is the reason why um, my um, angle or, or orientation of the camera had to change, you guys, because I had to put it on the charger at the same time. So just understand it wasn't on purpose. It was actually me just being negligent with my camera or my phone and not charging it like I'm supposed to. Anyhow... Um, I did curl my hair using the prototype irons. Now, don't get me wrong. I actually like the way that they, um, the plates glide. They curl really, really well. Yes. But what I don't like is the dome plate. That's number one. And number two, I do feel like the plate material could be enhanced. Um, number three, I, I kind of just didn't like I, let me not say I didn't like it. I didn't like I liked everything else about the irons. They were actually really good. They curl really well. I just don't like dome plates because dome plates, you have to really learn how to use them. And that's something that when you're using this at home, you guys, I do not want this to be any more complicated than it needs to be. Some of you are already intimidated by curling your own hair. So why would I give you plates on an iron that I know you are going to struggle with? Um, because even me as a stylist, I forget to turn it the right way for the dome. So that's another thing that I didn't like. Other than that, it was actually really good. So I went ahead and finished curling my hair um, so that I could go and start enjoying the festivities with the family. Today is, well, Kasim's first Christmas. I was like so happy for him. He really just basically used all of his time um, to tear some of his wrapping paper. Hence the reason I didn't go all out for gifts and stuff. So I'm just going to put a little clip here for you real quick. Hold on. <laughs> oh. 
anyhow you guys <laughs> after that whole ordeal your girl's hair is all done i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also thumbs up this video and then of course let's get ourselves prepared for new years by grabbing all of our elite hair care products go to elitehaircareusa.com don't forget to shop the sale bye